How's it going, people? Sam and Slab are you. And this is Neverwinter Online. Still playing this game, it is a good laugh. I've actually gained some levels now. Uh, this video is from yesterday. I have been leveling up this control wizard. So here we go. Level 12, I think it is at the moment. And this, what you're seeing on screen now, is kind of a mini dungeon, I guess you could say. Uh, basically, you get these kind of quests while you're overworld and instead of just being the go collect five go kill six and whatever your typical wow kind of quest you sometimes get these which put you into special instances which I guess you could say is dungeons but yeah this is it this is pretty nifty uh, you kinda get thrown into these unique little areas and they've all kind of got their own little vibe like the way they built all the textures all the room layouts and stuff like that they're all very very varied so it's not just doing the same thing over and over again and it does feel like you're doing something new every single time. I'm actually really enjoying this. Doing these dungeon dolls is a good laugh. So on video now I am actually joined by a buddy of mine, Afkatlia, and we've been playing this since release and kind of leveling up together. And this is one of the dungeons you get fairly early on. It's, uh, I think it's the second or third area you reach, you end up going into these kind of things. So we're both just starting to get used to it now. As you can see, I'm not actually playing the Guardian or the Thief or anything. This is my control wizard. And this fella is pretty much the mage class of this game at the moment. Along with Afkat here, he's playing the Cleric, which is the other mage class at the moment. But our roles are very, very different. So my role being a control wizard is to kind of dish out area of effect damage and manipulate the enemies so I kind of gain their attention or take their attention away from someone else and basically get rid of all of the like junk enemies or low health enemies in the middle of boss fights and things like that so this right here is a prime example I just chucked out an AoE dragged all of the enemies over they all died and then that's pretty much it now we can move on to these bigger chunky fellas and then you've got skills like this, where I kind of hold up the enemy in here. At that point, everyone can just pile on it and take it out. That's pretty much my role in a party. Well, a typical party, I should say. Then, moving on to Athcatlias, he's playing the Cleric. Basically, the Cleric's role is to keep everyone alive. Cleric does actually have quite a few skills, a lot of which is helping to heal people or yourself. And quite a few of the healing spells actually heal the other person as well as themselves while attacking the enemy. So it is actually pretty damn good. It does pack a bit of a punch as well. Unlike most games where the healer is typically very, very weak, they can actually take care of themselves quite well. Gotta be said, they'll pretty much outlive anything. Which you will notice uh, in the next video, I'll probably check out. Uh, it's going to be one of those massive dungeon ones I keep talking about that I haven't shown you yet. Uh, there's two we've come across at the moment as leveling. The first one I did kind of record, unfortunately it kind of got corrupted and it didn't have any of us talking on it, so yeah. Unfortunately I've had to dump that one away. But good news is, the second one we came across, I've got that fully recorded. And these big ass dungeon things I'm talking about, this is one of the awesome features in this game. I mean normally you get these type of dungeon slash quest things and these are pretty fun in and of themselves but those big dungeons, the proper dungeons are massive, they'll take you about 45 minutes with 5 people at the level you're meant to do it that's what they say roughly and yeah they are really really fun you always get the epic boss battle at the end and there's multiple bosses within the actual dungeons themselves but me and Athcatli are kind of difficult instead of just joining people or even inviting people into our party to go do these big ass dungeons we thought we'd try it out on our own which as you can imagine seems as it's meant to be for five people at that level and me and Afcat kind of just did it on our own it's quite difficult which does present some uh, interesting moments especially I should say it is very very funny I gotta be honest doing this with just two people is immensely fun it is incredibly hard don't get me wrong but it is really fun to play so here we go, this is the first boss and the final boss of this little quest dungeon. Basically we was told to come down here and kill this fella as he apparently stole the crown of Neverwinter. So we're going to beat the hell out of him and then move on. 
Yeah, as you can see, I'm just teleporting around at the moment. That is the Control Wizard's dodge attack, or dodge skill, I should say. Every single class has got their own special little dodge. The Thief, for example, their dodge is a roll. The Tank or Paladin, their dodge is actually a block. They actually lift up their shield and block attacks incoming. The Guardian Fighter's dodge ability actually allows them to run for quite a long period of time and very very quickly so they can kind of run out of the way or run into enemies either way. And then the Clerics is kind of very similar to the Teleport but kind of sk like skids across the floor. It's weird but you'll see it in some of the upcoming videos. If you here is our loot we gained from this little dungeon which isn't actually all that bad. There's a lot of equipment and stuff in this game and a lot of it has a lot of different stat effects which I will cover eventually as I'm sure people are quite interested in actually seeing that stuff. But moving on though so this is another little dungeon you run across and this one is actually killing like goblins I guess you'd call them I'm not really sure what you call them, orcs, I think it's the orc family we're after now. This is slightly later on and it's I think this is the second area you actually visit outside of town. And me and Athcat are just going to try and burn through this nice and quick, get to the bosses. But yeah, this is a action MMORPG, so unlike most where you'd kind of pick your target and then you'd instantly kind of like auto follow them, I guess would be the best way to put it. And then all you have to do is press like 1, 2 or whatever hotkey to use skills. This you actually do need to kind of aim at your enemy to an extent. It does kind of give you if you're slightly off and you'll actually still hit the enemy you're generally aiming at. But it does come with the option of if you hold down, I think it's left control while aiming at an enemy, it will follow it around the room, which is kind of nice. But the best thing about this is the active dodge. Now you may be thinking if you can dodge then you can simply dodge every single attack. Well to kind of combat that and make it a bit more interesting they give you a limited amount of stamina. And with that stamina is how you actually dodge. The stamina bar is literally above that giant glowing orange circle at the bottom of the screen if you can see. It's got a little green bar above it. That is my stamina bar. So typically classes only get two dodges. but. The exception to this is the control wizard, which is what I'm playing. I actually get three teleports before it completely runs out. And the other exception is the great weapon spider, which kind of do dashes or runs, which they can either split up into one massive run or into very, <laughs> well, quite immense amount of small short bursts. So yeah, there's that, and that does make things interesting, because you can't simply dodge whenever you feel like. So for example, if I'm fighting this big chunky fella coming at me now, and I'm in the middle of throwing out a massive spell and he goes to attack me, I can't simply just straight up dodge. I have to finish my attack first, so it kind of makes you aware of what you're doing, is the easiest way to put it. Now it may sound like this is actually really really hard to play, trust me it really isn't, it is incredibly fun to do, but will take quite a lot of mastering to get used to it. So you can quite literally pick up and play this, you don't even need to dodge if you don't want to. You can simply buy enough potions to cover you and that will allow you to do it anyway. So yeah, there is that. There's a good, there's a hell of a amount of information on this game. I've got to be honest, I'd get to this website and download it now and try it for yourself. It's free to play so it's not going to cost you anything and you've got absolutely nothing to lose. In fact, if you join up and start the game, come to the Beholder server and send me a tell. And uh, we'll party up together. I may even make a little guild if plenty of people jump into this. And we'll have a good laugh. So this is the boss of this little area. Except for this time he's surrounded by loads of enemies which I'm now getting pounded by. Run away. So you go my ability there, you've seen all those enemies was it in the general area. I just chucked out a few AoEs and kind of led them into it. And now they're all gone. That is pretty much my job in a nutshell. There you go, finish it off this chunky monkey. Goodbye. And that is it. This is another little mini quest done. So I've shown you the kind of mini quests that you get in the game and the skirmishes. I guess next up will be the massive epic dungeon, which is 
it was incredibly fun to play. I've got to be honest. It did last absolutely ages though, because we only did it with two people instead of five. But yeah, either way, that's what it's all about, right? That's how you do it. So I hope you all enjoyed and got a bit of interest in Neverwinter. I'll check out the massive dungeon run next. Catch you all later.